Testing, one, two. Check two, check two. Hey, I'm uh, out riding around, testing out the new helmet and a new GoPro rig that I'm trying to fine tune and dial in before I permanently mount. But that's not what today's video is about. Nope. Joe over at Great Egret threw the old 3R at me the other day, challenging me to shoot a video talking about three of the reasons that I have for deciding to ride the 2019 Fat Bob 114. So here we go. Hopefully you guys can hear this or else I'll have to do a voiceover. For those of you that are new to the channel, up until recently, I was riding an, a Sportster Iron 1200. And then a few weeks ago, after test riding a 2019, actually it was a 2018 Fat Bob, I decided that I was gonna trade that bike in and get the bike that I have now, which is the Scorched Orange 2019 Fat Bob 114. To be totally honest, I fell in love with this bike months ago before I even threw a leg over it. It just really, it just really reached out and sang to me. I mean, there were, you know, some really key things that attracted me to the bike to begin with. Uh, the first of those is the design. And I know this was a divisive bike when it was first introduced, but as soon as I saw it, I just connected with the design of this bike. The bike's chunky, eh, I'm chunky. Yeah, so we had that going. But the bike also kind of throws back at the face of cruisers, I think, a little bit in general, and um, has a bit of a different stance. I mean, the stance is really more forward-leaning, I wouldn't call it aggressive, but semi-aggressive, kind of in your face, you know, I don't care what you think of me, but I'm going to do what I need to do, and you can either come along for the ride or not. You know, and that kind of connected with me too, because that's kind of, uh, I think, mean, a little bit of my personality as well. It also you know, paid homage to Harley's past, but it was really about change, about the future, about being different. You know, and that kind of goes into the second thing that really attracted me to this bike was what the design and the bike itself represents. I mean, Harley had a lot of courage. Oops. Did you hear that car though? Well, I don't know if you can hear the car though. Anyway, Harley really showed that they had a lot of courage and guts and not playing it safe, but you know, leveraging what they could from the past while embracing new advances, not just in technology and engineering, but also, you know, in um, embracing change that's happening across the world. You know, change in their customer base. So this bike really represents evolution. It represents accepting change, leveraging the past, but continuously trying to improve things. And, and again, I think if you ask anyone that, that knows me, they'll tell you that uh, that kind of describes my approach to everything in general. I mean, I'm constantly looking for ways to make things better. Uh, not just for the sake of change, but for the sake of moving things forward and evolution. And, you know, that, again, I see that in this bike. I, I, every time I look at it, I see that. I was just out at the dealership. And they were having a customer appreciation day, and I'm the only one that had a bike out there like mine. Everybody else had baggers and, you know, the traditional bikes that you think about when you think about Harley-Davidson. And... Um, 
You know, that's, that's just not me. The, the fat Bob is me. To be quite frank, I would have kept the Sportster if not for the Fat Bob. This is the only bike out there on the market today that I think really connects with who I am. And then the third thing is just the performance. I mean, this bike is just so much fun to ride. Everything about it. I have yet to throw a leg over this bike and take off without a big shit-eating grin on my face. You know, it's just fun. Whether you're in a twisty road or just out on the highway or, for God's sake, even the interstate. <clears throat> I hate... Oh, there you go, brother. And another brother. And another brother. And I gotta, well, I gotta quit. Um, where was I? Yeah, even the interstate. I mean, I hate driving on I-95. But even this bike on the on the interstate is it's just fun. You now you go into a, a turn and and you just barely barely give a little counter steer input and the bike is over, you know, and into the turn and and it pulls straight back up, kind of like that, you know. And it's uh, it's just a lot of fun. The Milwaukee Eight is incredible. Did I miss my turn? You know what? I don't care if I miss my turn. I'm going to keep riding. Um, the Milwaukee 8 is an incredible engine. You know, we'll all, we'll all see in the future how well it, it stacks up to the engines that's Har that Harley's had in the past. But for now, I'm, I'm just really digging it. So there you go. Three reasons why I choose to ride this bike. The design, what the design represents, how those two things connect to me as an individual, how they, how it connects to me and the way I try to live my life. And then performance. The damn bike is high speed, low drag, man. So the other thing that comes with that 3R challenge is I need to throw the 3Rs at three other motovloggers out there. Yep, there goes the Cardo again. In case you're wondering, I put a Cardo Freecom 4 Plus on the helmet. I've never had a, a comms unit on, the, on a helmet before. It's actually pretty goddamn cool. Even for a lone rider, even though I don't ride alone. So when I get back to the house, I'll fire up the camera and I will throw the three R's at three of you other folks out there. Well, that didn't work out so well. I had to hop a plane for a quick business trip out to Austin. So in the interest of not adding yet another unfinished video to my backlog, let me go ahead and call out the three people that I'm issuing the three R challenge to. The first channel is Riding Dad. I came across this channel when I was researching the 2019 Fat Bob. This is a relatively new channel and he's off to a great start. So RD, let us know why you chose to ride the 2019 Fat Bob 107. Next up is Harley Girl 75. I recently stumbled across her channel and she has some great videos shot while riding the beautiful countryside in Oklahoma. Harley Girl, let us know why you choose to ride that heritage. And last but not least, Ultra Vonder. Like Ryden Dad, I came across this channel while researching the 2019 Fat Bob. She has a couple of bikes though, including a new Fat Bob. Yay! And I immediately subbed to her channel after watching her videos and reading what she has written in the About section of her channel. Experiencing life through the power of now. She gets it. So Ultra Vonder, let us know why you ride the bikes you ride. That's it for me guys. Hope you're having a great time. Get out and ride this week. Peace.